the Mariana fruit bat, uh, locally known as the uh, fanihi, is a unique uh, animal of Guam and also of the Marianas. It's actually one of only two other uh, two uh, native mammals that actually made it to the Pacific Islands. These these animals can fly, and because of that, makes them very unique. They're also a unique part of the island culture, uh, enjoyed by mainly probably the a lot of the older folks. They like. It, it's actually a delicacy in which the bat is actually cooked as a, uh, in a soup of coconut milk. The, uh, the bat is a threatened species of Guam, is actually a threatened species of the Marianas Island. Uh, locally or on Guam, there are only probably less than 100 bats. One of the last remaining colonies of this particular species only has probably less than 50 uh, individuals in that colony. So in itself, it's very unique. It's very unique as well because of its flight abilities. It can, uh, it actually eats fruit as opposed to many of the uh, smaller insectivorous uh, bat species. We actually had a another species of bat, uh, a uh, chief tail bat, which is actually was a cave dweller. Uh, this one, uh, that particular bat actually ate uh, e or eats uh, insects. Whereas our, the Mariana fruit bat or the fanihi uh, is actually a frugivore, enjoying many of the uh, native uh, fruits of uh, uh, the native trees of, uh, of Guam and the Marianas. Um, and so uh, what you would see with this particular species is that during the day it would actually roost as a, a colony in trees, they would actually go sleep during that day, and at night they will be out foraging in uh, the forested areas around Guam and, and uh, looking for fruits. It actually produces one baby uh, at a time. Uh, when the, uh, the young is actually small and uh, light, they would actually take the, uh, the young out foraging with them. At some point, the uh, the the bat the baby bat becomes a little too heavy for mom to carry around, so they would actually leave them in a tree. Uh, we I mentioned that it's actually threatened. Uh, there are many there are several reasons for that. Historically, was that it was actually poached uh, or or hunted uh, for food, and it actually probably brought the uh, population down to fairly lo low numbers. We know that brown tree snakes have. Uh, impacted many of uh, Guam's native species of birds, and they have also impacted the native species of uh, or native species of bat. They, uh, because of that, the numbers here on Guam have actually dwindled to quite uh, low, uh, low, to very low numbers. Uh, hopefully, uh, the, the recovery programs that we have or hope to implement will begin to, uh, to uh, bring this particular species back to, uh, to more normal numbers. This species of bat, uh, as, which has a wingspan of up to about three feet, is actually not a danger to, the, uh, to, the lo to humans. Uh, they're, they're, fairly, they're fairly docile creatures they, in terms of that if, if that they're actually frugivores and they're not predators of, of any an other animal of sort. And so for the most part, if you leave them alone, they'll leave, they'll leave you alone as well. Distance-wise, the, uh, the bats have, are known to at least make it across from uh, the island of Rhoda to, uh, to Guam. And so that's, uh, that's a good, uh, 30 miles. We would encourage everyone to treat them with respect and of course not to, uh, to actually uh, poach or, or shoot these, this unique species. Locally and federally, uh, the, uh, the, the, the species is protected by law and so we hope that everyone will, will at least ab uh, abide accordingly. Uh, in the new future, we hope to see many, of this, uh, many more individuals of this particular spe unique species on Guam. It's for the enjoyment of everyone.